everybody, it's your boy SB, it's the truck star, and welcome back to another dancehall video tutorial. Now, when I want to really I just go over just creating melodies, you know what I mean? Just starting a rhythm. Um, people pick to start them rhythm different, you know. Some people might start with a drum, me, I always start with the melody. Some people, like me, say, might start with the drums and all of that. So, just to demonstrate, you know what I mean, while I go on, I'll do it. I did a tutorial with someone I never used in a dance already, which is this um, PST from Tal. It's called Uno LX or Uno LX. I don't know how them, how them pronounce it, but that's how we don't use, right? So I have some bangs, so I just download that idea. I'm like, I never really use this in a rhythm, so I just start with it in a, in a this one, and we just see, you know what I mean, see how it go. Or just go over, just creating basic melodies. I don't use me. Keyboard, I'm not gonna use auto tonic or nothing like that. I just uh, go and play it by ear. Just play around with it in a FL studio just to see what we can come up with. So, no know what key or what scale we we'll use, but we'll just let me say, just play around. Yeah. Alright, so. The reason why I do that or why I have space between it is any card progression here, yeah, it might play or whatever. It's normally it going bass or not going to say bass, it will look like this when you play the three notes. But remember, upon the keyboard, you hardly ever do play three notes right by each other, you know what I mean? So you're not going to play them three notes are just right by each other in our progression. So now when you spread out your finger, so meaning when you spread out your finger, I mean, you have one key. Hold on, let me, let me connect the keyboard just so you can get a better understanding of what I say. You can understand what I'm going Um, Midi, 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 got two rear. Um, key lab, enable. All right, so what I mean, I'm gonna find the key. All right, so what I mean by play the three notes right by each other. You're not gonna play this, this, and this. That does sound, it does sound nasty, and I say, so what you do now, you don't play this, then you don't skip a note. So this is a black key, so you don't skip the white key and go to the next black key or the next white key. In my case, we go to the white key. So when we play it now, we have this. You know what I'm saying? That are pretty much like a, just a small foundation. So now you skip the next white key, jump the black key, skip that. So, so all together, me I skip one, two, three, four, five notes. And I say two between one and three between one. Look for any progression I ever see me normally that are exactly what I go on. So from that, you have that, which pretty much foundation. Now the rest of it is all just up to you and your creativity. Um yeah, if you can envision what you want for going in your head and nobody you know, did it to make it for you, you know what I mean? It's like creativity. Nobody can teach your creativity. They can show you how to nurture it, but at the end of the day, when they're not around, what the fuck you do? You know what I mean? So, let someone make a happy type of progression out of this. Or sad, in a, in a matter. Let's say you might have feel a certain way, and that now come out in the chat. You can't make that deter you. So, let's say we have that. Um, let's go here, so. Make sure this step online. That's one part of it. You know, and then like Mr. Manan, do nothing with the keyboard, it's just a dry thing. You just have to know. You have to understand your sound and understand what you want out of it. You know what I mean? So like, you have that. Now, this progression is not finished. This is this one would say it's an unfinished progression because when you play it, you know, it go back to the same thing with you that sound nasty because it's just a loop over and over the same pattern. So what me would do is, come now and switch the progression. 
are kinda drastic, so I'll go up, up, go down like that or something. Alright, so I'm wrong. You have three between and three between. So, something if you fix, so let us fix that. But notice now we have the same pattern I'll start with. We don't want that. So I'm gonna drop this down and active. And then now we can start work. So we can either go yes or R. Simple, it's nothing hard, it's just you have to know what you do. So let's load a different VST now and then let's try that again. I'll just try another, um, just play around with some other techniques or stuff where you can do. So let's go roll and let's go Jupiter or let's go Juno 106. Okay, so let's find a nice sound in Yasso. I can mute this. Alright, so let's forget say, this thing at the back, right? So, matter of fact, it's all hard for that. So, let's just go up on a new pattern. Alright, so let's start back from fresh, from scratch. Right, so this is like an app, you know what, that, that oh, is a sequence, okay, it's not an app, it's a sequence, alright, so let's go synth, alright, so let's say I want some DJ fresh, uh, not fresh, trash, <laughs> DJ fresh-ish, I mean, some happy nice little progression, plug type of um, rhythm, you just have a fine, Find a good foundation, a good bass, or the good. When I say bass, when I mean like bass, no, I mean like the bass, like the foundation. So find a good foundation, and then build upon that. Let me say, let me just want me do, boom, skip two note, then skip three note. Yeah, you know I mean, and then the rest is up to you. Let like me say that where your creativity would not come in. You have your foundation now. Like how this I tell me is a F minor. You can either draw in the rest of the scale or like on me have it all of the white note them at the scale or me, you know. You know what I mean? So E, F, G, G sharp, fucking um A sharp, and then you have C. So that is the scale on me, you know. So now it's all up to me and one more this song like So let's see. Mm -hmm. All right, so I want this kind of uh, whole two bars. So we'll do four different stops. So I have one here, so. Mm, mm, mm. I'll try one here, so again. Mm, I'll go up. Let's change this and change this. Mm, I'll do one more.
So it's just simple stuff. I mean, like, I don't know nothing but draw the mean. So it's like, I said, not the beginning, just a play it by ear. Is your creativity is not. Nobody else can say, yeah. If you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, all I have to do, just reference rhythm. You know what I mean? You just see if I can struggle with them type of thing, I just reference rhythm, listen to some rhythm, listen to all them, I play it. Count the notes. Yeah, really kind of, I feel dance out, I feel learn of count half beat. Fuck the shit up on the line this is more like a one third I mean they ain't like one third time because every third note so you have one two three you know what I mean so every third note you have a, have a restart pretty much this are the first note this are the second this are the third one two three one two three then you also now notice this these are the fifth note so one two three four five you know what I mean so it's like a lot of half beat to go on with them a type of um, rhythmic creation and them things. They are just stuff where I have to learn. I mean, it's not knowing nobody have to teach you. Just play it by ear and you develop a sense for me. Never got school feet. You know what I mean? Just learn it over time. So like this apart, I'm going to go dun dun dun. Don't fear for change the sound, cause you might like a song when you start with it and then you end up don't like it. So what I'm gonna do is just go through now and start to switch up the sound for see what can go on. I like this, but I feel like it missing some. So all more than do, you know, this is a case yeah. Just layer it with a nice string. Bring this down, kind of too um too high pitch. Then if you really bring it off, lower the bell them, just for blend them a little bit. You want the string more dominant than my type. If especially when I use a string, you want the string present and you they hear it. So I'll bring this down. I mean simple. For this, you know my head me I hear an arpeggiator. So I'm gonna bring in I'm going to use that, man. I'll use Icarus. Should I use Icarus? I might just use Icarus. I'm going to my ear up and I'm head. If you watch any of my previous videos, them, you know I'm going to build my arpeggiator. Them. So first, I'm just select an arpeggiator. Turn down this, go in here so now Alt L, make the notes them longer. Like my always say, any notes are duplicate, you just delete them because you don't need them. So anything where the same thing, delete it. Only keep the original or the first ones. Alt L, and we have this. Can I always change that? Not a problem.
Simple. Simple. So now you want to add a bass line or you go about that. Easy. Lord next us if you have it. What the fuck for this? More do some special smuggle and load up trillion. The reason I want trillion is because I want that kind of a realistic sounding guitar for the bass line. So let's just go. I'll the patch them. Let's go bass, electric, no, um, acoustic. Then we'll all go full range, clean. Actually, full range with a little bit of character. Um, piano roll. Yes, line. Alright, what's up, Alpha Blood? Clala. Bomb Clark, man. Close. Um, change my buffer. Thing has to piss me off. Lot of settings buffer twenty five eight. Okay, so like me, I said the bass line always don't follow the lowest notes in your melody. You know what I mean? So, what I mean by that is F, E, and pretty much <laughs> F and E. Now, notice I have other notes, same way, so we can always incorporate them there. The bass I want is like a stop start, so every three no more. The bass pretty much follow the melody. Then you can fix it later on. So right now, we just want the bass follow the melody. And let me say, we fix that later on. So quantize, so. Right, so because I want the bass start and stop, we just sharpen it up. I don't want it sustain whatsoever, I just want it to start and stop. So now what I'm gonna do, or what you can do, you can add simple little things like we have a note right so so we can do this, we can do kinda of like a slide. So no 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 some I mean some small thing, not nothing drastic, simple things. I got a long fucking way. So one or so, one or so, one or so, one or so. Sorry, sorry. Goodbye. So like. Right, that's all. We can do like a slide. Dun -dun -dun -dun. I mean, just simple stuff. I don't really like it, but that are the type of things we can do. Or keep it, drop it down and active, or copy the pattern. And like me some more guitar realistic sounding, like guitar type of feel to it. So now I don't add just synthetic clean sign bass to it. And it's supposed to come off pretty good. Cool. What I'm gonna do is go up a little bit upon the bass, right? That's so. all. I'm gonna go up with both of them. Nice. Everything together. Simple. Kicks and really follow the same principle. It's not really different about them. It's creativity. That's all it is. It's creativity. Let's go back to the start.
something as far as a snare go. Just want to add a um, simple snare pattern underneath the kicks. Something low, just a, like a filler underneath the kicks. Just simple stuff like that. All uh, 15 minutes if you're full, complete rhythm. Unreal to you, like I said, creativity, how I do it. Um, if you want to add something to the main melody, me personally would add some type of mallet. Um, try to expand real quick. Mm. Let's see, user. Uh, iPhone Calimbre. I have a preset I'm like. I can't think of the name, but. Oh uh, boy. I think I this. Uh, I just copy the pattern and drop it on it. Simple. simple stuff like that like me said the main thing is just your personal creativity listen to some tracks like what out there the professional thing or whatever you might have a bridge and make music listen to some of your music I mean listen to the ideas what go on learn for count the music you have to learn how to count music because with dance all it have a lot of counting involved like me say the first part of the melody are every three note. The second part, it have a two note and then it go to a regular four note back to the drop. You know what I mean? Meaning between the first two set of cards, you have three notes. Or three step. I'm not gonna say three note, because they may the note. You have three steps, so one, two, three. Between the second set of cards and the third set of cards, it have another three step forget a yaso. Between them there and the fourth set, you have four step. You know what I mean? So it's switch up. You have to learn off a count though. Because if you look on the bigger picture, this one bar right there, so this is a two bar loop. So this one bar right there, so it have one, two, three, hold on. One, two, three, four different individual sections. Meaning you have four step for the one bar. Each of the four step of, you have, four beat in between each of the four steps. So you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So altogether you have 16. I mean, so you just have to learn how you can divide up that to be equal. So what I'm going to do, you have three, six, ten. You know what I mean? And then you have two or uh, four. So you just have pretty much like a uh, Cut up, let's say I slice up a cake and you want to cut it in an eight slice. But you make a mistake and you cut one small. All you have to do I balance it out. Simple. You cut the next one accordingly. Think of it like that. Just the, it's maths. Music are fucking numbers. You know what I mean, it's really fucking numbers. I mean, nobody tell you nothing different. I just numbers. It's simple. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, from that little crack, the one little progression, all me do I use that and build an app and a bass line, and we have a rhythm. Simple like that. Nothing ever complicated about it. I never have to play in nothing, I know, like that. No matter what I tell us, you can play, or you have to can play instrument and all that. It's nice when you can play instrument, but then I have to do it. Yeah. Um, I'll try and um, see if I can put the MIDI file in the description. 
Like I said, I use FL20 right now. I don't know how much people they use it yet, but FL20 I use. So we try and try to put the link in the description or whatever. Until next time. I mean, it's your boy, Bees the Truck Star. Peace.